Um, good talking to you. Thank you. Bye, Hi. Hi. Um, so, I was wondering, because on um, Friday, Matt told a really funny story about a flight you guys were on. It was apparently very turbulent, and Rob also did a follow-up on that. So, I was wondering, what could you tell us about it? I think it's really unfair, frankly. <laughs> You know, when a man goes to the bathroom, that should be a private experience. It is not shared with the multitudes. Um, and, the, and, and even worse, it, it doesn't even stay in this room because I know you people and you have, you have uh, free, unfettered access to the internet and you use it. Um, but um, here's my question for you. What the hell was I supposed to do? I mean, it's not like you bring an extra pair of clothes on the plane because you're afraid you're gonna piss on yourself. Or at least I don't, or at least I didn't used to. Now I do, because I know it could really happen. Um, I mean, I suppose I could have like made myself a new pair of pants out of the paper towels in the bathroom. That would have taken an awful long time. Um, and it was very turbulent, and I was, I was getting kind of knocked around. I was getting knocked around as I was, um, It happened suddenly, you know? There wasn't a lot of uh, warning, so uh, it was spraying all over the place. I was just happy I didn't pee in my mouth. Honestly. Um, but I have to have words with Matt and Rob and Jensen. It's like everybody gets up here and tells sh sh shit about me. Uh, Richard told us something about that too, so... About the same story? Yeah. It's like they're obsessed. <laughs> it's like a, a perverse obsession for these guys. They're really into golden showers, aren't they? <laughs> I got one laugh over here. Um, um, I have embarrassing stories I can tell about Matt, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to, because I'm, I'm a better person than that. Um, uh, oh, no. Thank you. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop. 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 Guys, I'm above that. I'm above that. Um, Once when I was on a plane. Um, I've told this story before, so I'm sorry. Have I told it here? No. My really embarrassing, really, really embarrassing airplane story? No. I'm looking at Venetia. Venetia, have I ever told this story before? The really, really, really embarrassing airplane story. Yes, somebody's heard it. Yes, so a, a couple people have heard it. Okay, I'm gonna tell it again because I only have two good stories and this is one of them. Um, so, do you, is that okay with you if I tell a quick story? It is, I promise you, it's very embarrassing. Okay. So, um, I, um, I was about to get on a flight with my wife. We were gonna fly um, across country. We're flying from Los Angeles to New York. And my wife's um, mother lives right by the airport. See, you do remember the story. They're laughing up here. Okay, so, um, so we didn't have a lot of money at the time. She offered to take us out to dinner. And when she's paying, I was like, I'm gonna eat a lot. And we went to this Chinese restaurant and, uh, and I ate a lot of really kind of gross Chinese food. Um, not that all ch Chinese food is gross, but this was gross kind of Americanized Chinese food with a lot of, of uh, uh, jarred garlic. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like garlic that's been minced up and put in a jar. And that stuff I know kind of makes me a little bit gassy. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'll fart a little bit. So, um, but I ate a lot, a lot of the stuff. And then we got on the plane. And got up in the air, we're about 20 minutes into the flight, completely packed flight, and I'm in the window seat. And um, I'm sitting there, and there's all these people, like, I, it was my wife, and then somebody else, and I don't want to make a big thing, and we're going up, and I feel something coming on. <laughs> and I decide just to let, just a teeny bit out. <laughs> I turn on the little, the blower, just let a little bit out to, you know, relieve the pressure a little bit. 
So I did. And it was like, <laughs> and the guy, uh, the guy sitting immediately, the guy sitting immediately behind me, fainted. And uh, his wife pushed the button. And the flight attendants came up and they gave him oxygen, oxygen. And he woke up and he said. I don't know what happened, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> and the, uh, the, the, the girlfriend said to the flight attendants, I think, I think someone has gas. <laughs> and the flight attendants couldn't hear what she was saying because she was kind of whispering it. And they said, ma'am, that's not possible. All of the fuel is stored in the wings. Not, none of it comes anywhere close to the, to the cabin, so there's no way there's a gas leak. And then they went away. That blew over, so to speak. And uh, a couple hours later, I felt something sort of building up. There. And I thought, all right, this time I'll be really careful. Um, and I just, just. <laughs> he faints again. They administer oxygen again. It was horrible. I was so, I was so humiliated. And then, it got even worse. His, his wife again, his girlfriend again repeated, you know, somebody, somebody has gas. He said, no ma'am, we told you it's not possible. And then the person sitting next to them said, uh-uh, somebody has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> we, we, we landed, and you know when you land, and the thing, the thing goes ding, and everybody stands up? We couldn't all stand up because we had to wait, and we had to wait for the paramedics to come on the plane to check this guy out to make sure he was okay. And the whole time he's insisting, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Nothing like this has ever happened to me. And I'm just like this in my seat. Anyway, I challenge Matt to embarrass me again because I'll just make an even worse story about myself. Um, 